Time for your favorite radio program, Chatting from the Word, with your host brother Oscar York the Voice, on your Spreaker platform. Where are we chatting about the Word and from the Word? Putting that all important, snap, crackle and pop in your Christian walk. Amen, amen, and amen. God's grace and mercy definitely helped us through. Woke us up this morning. Uh, yes, it did. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that's within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Good morning, everyone. Good, good morning. The good Lord has blessed us with another benefit of another wonderful, wonderful day, hasn't he? On yesterday, this day was not even promised. But the Lord loved us enough, loved us so much, that he created this day just for me and for you. We thou on the top soil and not the soil on top of us. As we, on this time side of life, have given all of us another chance, another chance to make what's wrong in our lives right, and to walk closer and closer with Him. Amen and amen. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, my friend, my friend. I just don't know. Sometimes I look at the world in which we live in. I listen to the news. I listen to the way people think. Sometimes it just makes me wonder. Do the world really love God? It really do. I mean, I know all the different beliefs and all the different thoughts on religion makes me wonder sometimes the way the world is going. Amen. But my friend, again, was just so blessed to uh, bring on this program to your listening ears. And we hope that you keep your ears on and have your ears on through the whole uh, entire uh, program this morning. Uh, if you live in the Dayton, Ohio area, as I live, the, air, the weatherman says it is 66 degrees and sunny. Dayton, Ohio, look like we have a beautiful day on tap today. Thank the Lord, thank the Lord. I hope you get out there and enjoy the sunshine. A little breeze you may get sometimes. Hearing the birds chirping and trees blowing and all that good stuff. We are just a blessed people. All we need to do, my friend, to count our blessings instead of sheep. And we'll recognize we are some blessed, blessed People, yes, we are. Amen, amen, yes, we are. My friends, we are just, just blessed to be alive. We are just blessed to be alive and able to uh, get up this morning and able to see the sunshine rise and set. That's just a blessing within itself. And I believe you count your blessings instead of counting everything else, especially sheep. <laughs> I believe you might recognize how blessed you really are. Amen. We are some blessed people. I mean, God has blessed us all just to get up. And that's a blessing within itself. All right, do me a favor, and you all know what the favor is, is get home. If you're at home, get relaxed. Go to one and have your favorite drink, your morning drink, coffee, tea, milk, juice, chocolate, hot chocolate, whatever it may be. We ain't talking about the hard stuff. Now, you're a Christian, throw that hard stuff out there. You know, we're going to be drinking whiskey and wine and bourbon and all that. So, so just throw it out. And uh, get your morning drink together. And if and if you're at home, 
you, if you more relaxed in your reclining chair, recline on out. If you're more comfortable at your dining table, go ahead on and have a seat. But what we want to ask you is to have your Bibles open and an open mind as we travel through God's Word on this beautiful, beautiful morning. Amen. And amen. And my friend, if this happens to be your first time listening to us here on Chatting from the Word, we just want to welcome you to the program and allow you to know that you are our welcome guest. But not just only our welcome guest, but we would love to honor you this morning and thank you for having your ear. Amen. <laughs> Amen, 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 amen. Man, brother, 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 brother. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm brother Oscar, he's just so delighted to be with you this morning. And to spend the morning with you, as you can tell. I'm so happy and blessed to uh, be with you this morning. And we hope that you just you feel the same, at least I do. And you feel the same and you enjoy the program this morning. Share it with your loved ones, with your friends, with your neighbor, with your kin folks, <laughs> with your kin folks. All right, kin folks. <laughs> Amen, kin folks. <laughs> and share with your kin folks. Share with your friends on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, um, TikTok, or wherever you're on the internet. Share, 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 and share. Uh, get the message out there that Jesus is alive and he wants them to be in his body. Amen and amen. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he does. Yes, he, 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 he does. Amen and amen. And my friend, if you Know that the message of hope, salvation, and love, the message of Jesus Christ, need to be spread around the world. Amen, Brother Oscar. <laughs> Help us out here on a financial basis, turning your contributions, and if not turning your contributions, do so today because we it's time for us to pay our bills around here. Here on Chatting from the Word, and do so today. Turn in your contributions. And then one you want to turn in your contributions, we do have an account on PayPal. Just pull up the PayPal webpage, paypal.com, and put in my email address, which is lowercase, Oscar York, 3443 at gmail.com. Again, that's lowercase, Oscar York, 3443 at gmail.com or you can go to Zelle that's Z as in zebra Z-E-L-L-E -L -L -E. and again put in my email address which is more case Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com again that's lower case Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com uh, dot com. Amen. And a amen. We would love to remind you that you're listening to Chatting from the Word. And I am your host, Brother Oscar York, the voice on the Spreaker platform, where we are chatting about the Word from the Word and putting the all-important snap, crackle, and pop in your Christian world. 
Hey, hey, hey! Yes, we are! A snap, crack, oh, and pop! Amen and amen! Amen and amen. When you hear the trumpet sound, it is time for our roll call. And we reserve this portion of the program to allow you to know how much we love you and to give you a shout out to let you know how much we do appreciate you for listening in to us here on Chatting from the Word radio program. And we are so delighted to, to uh, come to your home or wherever you are uh, listening to the uh, program. So we just want to give a shout out to those on listening. At first, we want to start off with the Lone Star State of Texas. And that's Houston and Redmond. They are listening. Amen and amen. They are listening. And good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Amen and amen. And then in the great state of Ohio, Ohioans, they have their ears on too. And that is Columbus and Cincinnati. Amen. And amen. And good morning to you, Columbus and Cincinnati. Amen and amen. And Massachusetts. Massachusetts are listening too. And that's Dennis, Massachusetts. Good morning to you, Dennis, Massachusetts. And thank you for having me. Your is on. And then the great state of Mississippi, M I S S I S F I T P I. They have the ears on too. And that is Harrisburg, Mississippi. Thank you, Harrisburg, for having your ears on. And good morning, good morning, good morning to you. <laughs> and Arizona, Arizona, Arizona. Thank you, Arizona, for having your ears on. And that's Nisa, Arizona. Good morning to you, Nisa. Thank you for having your ears on. And Arkansas, the great state of Arkansas, they got their ears on too. And thank you, Arkansas, for having your ears on. And that is pine, pine, pine bluff. Arkansas, good morning to you. And then the great state of California, California. And for my buddies down there in California, we want to thank them for listening. And that's Oakland, California, Oakland, California. Amen. And a amen. <laughs> thank you, Oakland, California, for having me here this morning. Good morning. And also, Arizona, we thank you for listening. I don't know if I mispronounced Nisa. It's a Nisa, a Massa. If it's Nisa, Nisa, if it's Massa, Massa. And I was looking at the, the spelling of it. I don't know if it's Nisa or Massa. 
So if it's Nisa, I did right. If it's Massa, I do apologize. <laughs> amen and amen. And now for our brothers across, sisters across the way that are listening. That's India. India, they have their ears on too. That's Mela Hodges. Thank you for listening, Mela Hodges. Amen and good morning, good morning. And Lisa Rustray, we want to thank you and say good morning to you for listening in too. And Taylor Gunner and Taylor Gunner, we want to thank you for listening in too and for having your good Thank you, thank you, and I thank you, amen, and a amen. All right, all right, and I know I miss, <laughs> miss the house. Someone, uh, the, the, uh, the state's there, too, that we're going to apologize for the mispronunciation. One of these days, we get it right. <laughs> uh, we'll get it right. And then that's Singapore. Singapore, we want to say good morning to you also. And thank you for having me. Your is on. And Malawa, 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 the country Malawa, we want to thank you for having your ears on too. And that is Central Region of Malawa. Amen and amen. And also Gaina, Gaina, Gaina. We want to thank you for having your ears on. And that's Central Accra Region. Good morning to you. And also Russia, Russia, we want to thank you for having your ears on. And that is Moscow, Russia. Good morning to you. And Ukraine, we want to thank the Ukrainians for listening also. And that is Kivy City. Good morning to you. And my friend, that was your rolling call for this morning. You go, 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 Amen. And amen. It is time for our snapshot for today. Our snap, snap, snapshot. Yes, yes, yes. It's time for us to do a snapshot of a program for today to allow you to know what you are in store to listen to for the next, well, I guess, <laughs> next 30 minutes of your time. Because here on Chatting from the Word, we don't want you to listen to nothing. We want to at least give you something to listen to. Is that all right if we give you something to listen to here on Chatting from the Word? Well, yes, but I also hope that it is just fine to give you something to listen to. Of course, you heard an introductory song sung by Wayne Williams, God's Grace and Mercy. Oh, my friend, I can only phantom 
And it would not have been for God's grace this morning for waking us up. Where would we be? It would not have been for God's grace by creating us another beautiful day. Where would we be? Amen and amen. And the scripture text that we are going to use this morning before our prayer time will be found in Psalms, the 8th division. That is Psalms, the 8th division. And if you have a copy of God's word and you love to read along with us, you are welcome to do just that. And of course, Radiance Acapella will be singing sweet hour prayer to get us in the mood for our prayer time. Amen and amen. And of course, we are doing our chat today. Yes, we are. And if you've been with us for quite some time, you know we are uh, coming from the first letter that Brother Paul the Apostle wrote to the Corinthian church. Okay? And we are at the end of the first letter and we're in chapter 16, where Paul is talking about the collection for the saints. The collection for the saints. And we are talking about the, con the distributions. Uh, I guess we're asking to use the word distributions are uh, where the money should go. But we see here that when Paul told uh, the the Galatian church and the Corinthian church and maybe a few other churches to collect monies here. He also was talking about uh, the Jerusalem uh, missions too in Jerusalem uh, where some of the monies would be allocated to go. And that's what we must recognize that Paul is saying here. Although uh, it's uh, first day of the week, it's the day that we come together which is Sunday, which is a good time to collect monies uh, for the church needs also. But here Paul is also talking about the uh, ministries in Jerusalem. As you can remember, Jerusalem was where the church, their Pentecost began, and we can imagine that, that that church in Jerusalem had so many ministries going on there. So here Paul is talking about uh, of course, taking some of the collection uh, to the churches, our church, our Jerusalem, for their ministries. Amen. And uh, a, a man. And my friend, that was your stop of the program this morning. Your snap snap. Snap shot. Amen and a amen. My friend, are you ready to get on board this train and ride the gospel explosion? And my friend, if you're ready to get on board to ride. The gospel explosion. Line up, line up, and have your tickets out. And if you lined up with your tickets out, get on board, get on board, get on board the ride. The gospel explosion. <laughs>
Amen and amen. This is our prayer time. And uh, if you have a prayer request that you want Brother Oscar to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, you can send it to my email addresses, which is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com, or you can send it to Chatting from the Word at uh, gmail.com or if you can uh, message us uh, with your prayer requests on our messenger or you can put it on any network uh, that you're listening to the uh, program through or you can put it on our uh, Facebook page uh, when we share the program with our Facebook uh, buddies. Under my picture, you can, or in the comment section, if you have a prayer request, you can put it there. And as always, if you have a prayer request that uh, you want to keep confidential, that's fine with us here on Chatting from the Word. Well, we do respect your confidentiality. Just simply say, Brother Oscar, pray for me and call my name. And I'd be just so delighted and so blessed to do uh, just that. Again, if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, you can uh, place it with the, uh, with, uh, the uh, <laughs> uh, with, with the revenues that we have just uh, mentioned. Amen, amen. Forgot, forgot a little bit there. <laughs> Uh, you can place it with the revenues we have just uh, mentioned. And of course, we want you keeping your prayers, those that have been uh, requested prayers, those that have lost loved ones, those that are going through some uh, difficult time at this time. Uh, the world itself, because the world needs to be prayed for. For us who are saints who can uh, talk with the Father who has a regular conversation with the Father four or five times a day. <laughs> Pray without ceasing, Paul says. 
Okay, so we need to pray for this world in which we live and of Russia and Ukraine, uh, Ukraine uh, situation too. Let, let's pray that, uh, that, that for some kind of way God put a cease to that and that be peace ringing through the land once again. Let's pray uh, for that situation. And of course, pray for those that try to make a difference in the world when it comes to the gospel of Jesus Christ. And of course, pray for your brother here. Pray for Brother Oscar that he may stay healthy enough to keep the program alive and going and chatting from God's word. Amen and amen. Pray for me as I pray for you. Let us pray for one another. My friend, if you have a copy of God's word and love to uh, read along with us, of course, we're coming from Psalms, the 8th Division. Uh, that is Psalms, the 8th Division. The psalmist penned these words. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, who has set thy glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings hast thou ordained strength because of thy enemies and the adventure. When I consider thy heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained, what is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visitest him? For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and hast crowned him with glory and honor. Thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hands, Thou hast put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, yea, and the beasts of the field, the fall of the air, and the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passes through the paths of the seas. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. O my friend, our Lord's name is excellent. Not only his name, but we serve an excellent, excellent God. A God about love and about mercy. Amen, amen. My friend, are you ready to approach the throne of grace so that we can have a good talk with our Father this morning? Let's approach the throne of grace. Our most, most high God. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The God of our Lord and Savior, the Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The Father of us all. The creator of this vast, vast universe in which we live. Oh, Father, first of all, we humbly come to your throne. Oh, Father, we humbly come to your throne, Father. First of all, with thanksgiving. Father, thank you, thank you for watching over us the last evening as we slept and slumbered. Thank you, Father, for waking all of us to another beautiful day that did not exist on yesterday. Because of your love, you create this day so that we, on this time side of life, may get it right with you and walk closer with you. And for all we especially thank you for allowing your only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to come down from the duties of heaven, down on this cruel, cruel world, to show us how to love, to show us how to live, and to connect with you. And Father, he took upon the cross, became in sin, who knew no sins, so our sins may be washed away in his blood. Oh, Father, 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 we thank you so, so, so much for that. And Father, we pray for the world itself, we recognize that we live in a messed up world, Father. 
But Father, we pray for all the mass killings. We pray for the families to give them rest. Father, we pray for all the liars, all the stealing, all what's going on in this world, the way people think, Father. We pray that they get you in them so they may think like you. Oh, Father, 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 we pray that that be an individual who want to step out of the world, of this world of sin, and be translated into your son's people. Oh, Father, we pray that they get the courage to do that, where they can be in the body of Christ. Oh, Father, 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 we pray for the Russian Ukraine of situation. Father, we pray that there be a ceasefire in that, and that peace may reign all over the land. Oh, Father, 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 again, we pray, Father, we pray, Father, for those that lost loved ones. Father, we pray, Father, that you will comfort them. Father, we pray for those who lost loved ones at the hands of the police. Father, we pray that you comfort them. Father, we pray for each police officer who have given their lives in the line of duty. Father, we pray that you comfort their families. Father, we pray for all of our political leaders, Father. We pray that they never make laws for any of us from worshiping you, but let the laws we all can live in peace and in harmony. Father, again, we pray for the church as a whole. Father, we pray for the church and continue on being lighthouse leading others to Jesus Christ. Father, we pray for all of our listeners, Father. We pray for all that doubts and fears, Father. We pray, Father, that you cast all the doubts and fears in the deepest part of the sea where they won't be surfaced anymore. Oh, Father, we pray for our program here, chatting from the Word. Father, we pray that you help us to keep this program going and going. And Father, we pray for the chat today, the collection for the saints. Father, help us if may say something to help someone see heaven much more clearer and they keep on stepping and stepping and stepping up the ladder. Oh, Father, 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 we pray for those that are going through some changes. We pray for those that lost loved ones. We pray for, for those that try to make heaven at home. We pray for, for those that are preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. And Father, always keep us encouraged and never discouraged. In Jesus' blessed name do we pray. Amen and amen. I want to thank you for reading our scripture text with us or praying along with us and we hope that we pray for something that is on your mind. All right, we'll be right back with the second half after uh, this uh, message. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We are back. We are back. We took a little station break and we <laughs> are back. And we hope that you kept your ears on and still have your ears on at this point here. And if you do, just keep on. We are moving on. We're reaching the close pretty soon. Just keep your ears on so that uh, you may enjoy spending the morning with us here on Chatting from the Word, and of course, and listen to our chat uh, for uh, this morning. My friend, if you believe that the gospel needs to be wrong around the world, help us out with your contributions this morning. We don't ask that much. We only ask that you begin to give us at least $5, at least $5. And if you wonder what's in your proceeds, of course, we have a account on PayPal. Just go on and pull up the PayPal webpage, paypal.com, and put in my email address, which is lowercase, Oscar York, 3443 at gmail.com. Again, that's lowercase, Oscar York, 3443 at gmail.com. Or you can go to Zell, Z as in zebra, Z E L L E. And again, put in my email address, which is lowercase, Oscar York, 
3443@gmail.com and we would love to thank you in advance for your generous generous gift. Thank you, thank you, and thank you, and we appreciate you very very much. This portion of the program to allow you to know where you can listen to the program. Of course, you can go to your Play Store and download Spreaker Podcast app, and once you have it downloaded, look up Chatting from the Word hosted by Oscar. Many of our shows should appear. You can listen to show you desire, even today's show. Our other networks we come on is Audrey, Music Download, VLC, Lab, GeoSound, Chrome, iTunes, ListenNote.com, Alexa Media Player, Podplayer.net, Chrome Web View. Bullhorn, Podchaser, Deezer, Apple Podcast, iHeart Radio, Tumblr, Blogger, Internet Explorer, Generic Android App, Bing.com, Spotify, Google Podcast, Cashbox, Podcast Addicts, Spreaker, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, and YouTube. If you are listening to the program on YouTube, subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Now back to your brother Oscar. I'm back, I'm back. Thank you, our announcer. I am here. <laughs> and I'm so glad to be with you this morning. And we hope, we hope that you feel the same, that uh, you are glad that we are here this morning, too. And we want to thank you for keeping your ears on uh, to get to this point here. I know many uh, probably have left, and I uh, hope that they do get a chance to hear the program in its entirety, because it is a beautiful program where you can praise the Lord and hear a chat, spend some time with Brother Oscar as we spend some time with you in your home, on your job, uh, wherever uh, you may be uh, listening. Amen. Amen. Up to remind you that you're listening to Chatting from the Word with your host, Brother Oscar York, the voice on the Spreaker platform where we are chatting about the Word and from the Word and putting the all important snap, crackle, and pop in your Christian walk. Yes, we are. And we are so, 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 so delighted to do uh, just that. Amen. And uh, a, amen. Where are we? Where am I? <laughs> Where am I? Here I am. I am right here with you on this beautiful, beautiful uh, program chatting. Uh, from the word, and we hope that you are still listening, and we hope that you still have your ears on. Amen and amen. But we're getting ready to go to a station break, <laughs> okay? And we'll be right back after the break with the chat. This portion of the program to allow you to know when you can listen to the program. Of course, you can go to... Of course, that wasn't it. <laughs> Here is our brother Oscar with the chat. The collection for the saints. Let's give. Continues. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, we're back. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I had it in my, my fingers in the wrong direction. <laughs> if you can understand that. Uh, if you're into the radio, you know. Uh, where Brother Oscar is coming from. Again, we're so delighted to be with you. This is uh, the portion of the program where we chat with you 
And we can't lift you, of course, from God's word. Because we love God's word. Bill Oscar has been in the ministry now for uh, over 50 years. And we enjoyed it. It has brought us joy and time some grief. Uh, Bill Oscar is going to be up front with me. Everything has not been, uh, uh, you know, sunshine all the time. And some rain has fallen in my life. And... And sometimes those times we believe God is not with us. But time God allow us to go through some rain in our lives to strengthen us in him and to basically point the way that we should go. Because that's the Lord training us. And he continues to train us. Uh, of, of us and you are in the ministry. Because he continued to allow us to learn what life is all about, so that we may be able to teach more powerful lessons when it comes to his word. So preachers out there, if you wonder when you're going through something, let lean on the Lord. Keep him in prayer. Help him, ask him to help you to have the strength to continue on teaching his word. Because nowadays it takes faith. <laughs> if we're lost, we can use that word. It takes faith to stand and to preach and to teach the word of God. Especially when it seems like you may be the only one. But I guarantee you, you're not the only one. If you teach what's according to God's word, and then people don't want to have nothing to do with you, people want to hush you out the, out the pulpit, people want to come down to you and say, you ain't preaching what is in the Bible. And, 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 and people do that. When they can easily come and tell you, Brother Oscar, you said that wrong. Brother Oscar, there was a right. I have both chapter and verse. But my friend, I know from experience, people does do that. And that's not going to stop. If you're a young minister and you're wondering with all the storms and all the rain going to stop. It's going to stop for a little while. You'll have some sunshine for some days, but some days it's not. Especially if you're still struggling to get, to, <laughs> as some people may say, get your first forfeit. Okay, it's a struggle. And sometimes you may not get a forfeit. But you know what? You do what you can do uh, to get the word of God out there to the masses of people. And that's why uh, I love the way the Lord has uh, directed my life in the direction of doing this radio program. There couldn't be no better, to be honest with you. No, Brother Oscar, not making no money from it. I'm not. But you know what? It brings, if it brings the Lord joy, it brings me joy. Uh, just to tell others how beautiful uh, Jesus Christ is and the Lord uses me as that uh instrument to get his word out there to the masses of people that really needs the word. They really need to hear that the world needs peace. The world needs peace, my friend. The world needs you if you're a, 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 a true minister of God, preaching the truth. The world needs you, my friend, in a mighty, mighty way. Look around us. Look around us. Look at what the world is believing. Look at what the world is standing for. Look at, at what the world is getting away with and calling them to be in the name of God. They got the name of God that obey God's word and his commandments. You're not. You got to obey his commandments. Jesus said, Jesus himself said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Isn't that what he said in his word? If you love me, keep my commandments. Amen, Rolofka, amen. You know, we, here on Chatting from the Word, we'd be amiss if we don't express this to you, and we do it every day, unless we forget to do it sometimes. But here on Chatting from the Word, we just don't teach, we just don't preach. What we do, we chat about the Word of God. We don't want to talk around you, over you, under you, but we want to a reason with you when it comes to the uh, word, excuse me, to the word of God. 
And I believe, at first I thought it was kind of hilarious, but I believe that if we can teach our pet dog Rolo to roll over, to sit up, play dead, and speak on command or bark on commands, we should be able to reason with one another uh, when it comes to the Word of God. I believe we can. I believe we can reason together. Yes, some people uh, I may not be able to reach and reason with when it comes to the Word of God, but the right thinking person, I should be able to say something to them through God's Word if you have his Bible open and an open mind. But I recognize we are all stuck. A lot of us are all stuck in all of our traditions and what we believe that the Bible is saying. But what we must understand, if the Bible doesn't say what we've been believing in years, it's time for us to change and make that change and look in the mirror of the Word of God and make that change. If, the Bible, if you're doing something that's not in the Bible, and I'm talking to everybody, although the lesson is for the body of Christ the church, because that's who Paul was talking to here in the Corinthian letter, but I'm talking to everybody. If you see something that you believe is right, and we have said something that you believe is right, and you've been doing it for years, stop doing it. Stop doing it. And obey what? In the word of God. Amen, Brother Oscar. This morning, uh, you've been uh, listening to us. We've been talking about giving. Because this is where we are in the first letter that Brother Paul wrote to the Corinthians. We are in the last chapter, chapter 16. Where Paul talked about the collection for the saints, the collection uh, for the uh, saints in 1 Corinthians 16. And like I say, we are really spotlighting uh, verse 3, and then I hope uh, probably next week we'll be on uh, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And if you're not, if you're not enjoying what we say, it doesn't get you upset. In verse 3, oh, you're going to get upset some more once you enter the rest of them because Paul really uh, let you know about the collection of helping the ministries, uh, ministers, or uh, things that's good for the church. And we ain't talking about, well, we're talking about the church. We're not talking about the four walls and the roof. So we, let, let's not out that belief right now. When we're talking about the church, we're not talking about your beautiful buildings. All that we need when we worship in God, of course we need a place to worship and away from all the elements of the weather and all that stuff, but the church according to scriptures is not the building that you're praising God in. The church is us. The people makes up the church. And to be honest with you, you can worship God under a tree. You can worship God through the uh, mass media, through the, uh, the streams and stuff like that. With other people, you're together with other people. The worship does not, the church does not consist of four walls and a roof. The church is you. And this is who Paul is talking about, the church and Correct. I just had to say that because I don't, I don't want nobody to, to, to say that. I don't really ask you don't know what he's saying because I'm trying to say what the Bible is saying. I really am. And we are, like I say, verse 3. Here, let me read it. And we're going to go to uh, Luke 9 and finish that up. Here, Paul says, and when I come, whomsoever ye shall approve by your letters, them will I send 
to bring your liberality unto Jerusalem. Talk about the collection they just collected. And of course, that collection also stayed with the local congregation. Uh, most uh, commentary may say Paul is, is talking about taking up a separate collection. It, it doesn't say it here. But we know that Paul uh, was uh, one uh, the liberalities that the current church, the Galatian church, was taken up, he was going to take it to the church uh, in Jerusalem. And he had told them, whoever you designate to bring the, the liberality to Jerusalem, send me a letter on them so that I may know them, okay? So I may trust them, so that, that they may be trustworthy of bringing this, your liberality to uh, Jerusalem. And what we're talking about, the distributions, uh, who should we support with our money? And over the years, there has been uh, a, a source of controversy. Uh, most may say, well, we should spend our money on trivial things like a radio program that's teaching the Word of God. Yes, Bill Oscar, got more to come out and say it. Or we should not give uh, this brother, so uh, this, uh, uh, take up a collection for this brother uh, for preaching and teaching God's word. Many have said that. But what is the true teachings of who should be paid a wage? And I'm going to put it just like that when it comes to the word of God. And remember, we just we just said that the, 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 the church is not a building. So I want you to keep that in mind. The church is not a building. You can have uh, worship under a fig tree, under a shaded tree, on your patio porch, or wherever you can come together among two or three. Jesus says, I'm in the midst of you and have worship and praise the Lord. One of the days, we're going to talk about worship. But right now, we're talking about our collection and the distributions of money and where the money should be. But many people today, they are teaching myths about a minister should not get paid. And most goes to Luke. Turn with me to Luke. Yeah, we turn to Luke. <laughs> Turn with me to Luke. Of course, we already uh, studied John 21, and of course, we already studied it with the book. Luke 9 and verse uh, 3, where Jesus, of course, let me do a little background for you here so that uh, you may remember what we have said. Uh, here Jesus gave his 12, of course, at this point, uh, Luke said 12 disciples. And gave them power to cast out devils. Power over the devils. In verse 3, and to cure diseases. And of course, Jesus told them not to take anything with you on your mission to do this. And we have said that here the apostles, uh, at this point, the 12 disciples, uh, was in training. And they went out and after all, after they did, after this, after they did what God tended for them to do, they came back and reported to Jesus with the truth. Now listen to this. Uh, listen to this. And I want you to get this because uh, I believe that it is important. They went out as 12 disciples, but they came back as 12 apostles. And verse 10 says, and the apostles, now we want to get that, that point right, and the apostles, the 12 apostles, when they were returned, Told, told, told him all that that they had done. 
And he took them and went aside privately into a desert place belonging to the city called Bethsaida. A Bethsaida. Okay. They left out as 12 disciples, but came back as 12 apostles. <laughs> I thought I put that little bit in there. They came back, they came out as 12 learners, but came back as 12 apostles. And after 12 apostles, Jesus wasn't finished teaching them. Although they were excited about what they learned by depending on the power, what they learned by depending on Jesus, what they learned by depending on solely him, and going out and doing uh, the miracles and healing diseases and all that, they was amazed. But Jesus did not stop there by teaching the kingdom. And as he was teaching, many of the crowds followed him in his teachings. And again, some more teaching time that Jesus used. Here he teaching by an example. Although the people was listening to Jesus for quite some time, and, Jesus, and the and the apostles were telling them to send them home, and, and Jesus said, "No, let's feed them. <laughs> let's feed them." Now I want you to notice the apostle reaction. I believe in the machine. In verse thirteen, let's drop down to verse thirteen. Now verse twelve, and when the day began to wear our way. They came to twelve and said to him, Send the multitude away, that they may go, that they may go into the town's country, in the towns and country round about at large and get victuals, for we are here in a desert place. In other words, when you're in a desert place, have you ever watched TV, maybe Western, where uh, I watched the rifle the other day, and Luke McCain and Mark was in the desert, and, and with no water, nothing around, nothing at all, and, and all of a sudden they they start to, you know, hallucinate and and, and, and really wanted water, and their bodies was was you know they were just going through some changes, but here they was in a desert place, a desert place. And he said unto them, Give ye them to eat. Give them to eat. Let them eat. Let them eat. <laughs> Let them eat. And listen to, listen to. I, I love studying this because it's, it's exciting to me just to, just to read and, and just to see the power. The power. Listen to it. He said, Give them to eat. And they said, We have no more. But five loaves and two fish. So we have left Jesus. They can't, all these people, and they can't eat just that. How are they going to eat? <laughs> In other words, you can only feed maybe four or five people. Or maybe, maybe much that from five loaves and two fish. Okay? But, but look, look at the lesson that Jesus gave me to teach his apostles. He said, but no more but five loaves or two fishes, except we should go and buy meat for all these people. But they were about 5,000 men. And he said to his disciples, make them sit down by fifties in the company. And they did so and made them all sit down. And then he took the five loaves and two fishes, looking up to heaven, he blessed them, break and gave to his disciples to set before the multitude, and they ate and was full. <laughs> they ate, <laughs> and they ate and were all full of him. Oh man, a great lesson that 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 his apostle learned that day. A great lesson that we all can learn is to depend on Jesus. When you're in a desert place, depend on Jesus. When you're feeling bad and out, depend on Jesus. When you feel like your best friend left you, depend on Jesus. When you feel like no one understands you, depend on Jesus. 
And this was one of the most powerful lessons that his apostles seen that day. And now here's some possible us too. Us too. If you're a minister, even if you're a Christian, we try to make heaven your own. Depend on Jesus. Depend on Jesus. Pray in the name of Jesus that our Father will help you through the toughest of times. Pray in the name of Jesus that our Father may see and provide. Because he is Alpha Jara. He sees and he provides. We serve a God that cares about us for my friend, we serve a father that cares about us. We serve a father that cares. He's our father and we serve a Lord that loves us. And that's Jesus Christ. And here Jesus Christ is showing his love to his apostles. Showing his love to 5,000, just not counting children and women, 5,000 men, the head of the families. And so we could say maybe 5,000 families. And they count just the family head. We know it more. But it's the power, the power, the power of the gospel, my friend, is powerful. The power of the gospel is powerful. That's my lesson for, that's our lesson for the day. And we hope that we said something to help you. Uh, this is Friday. We won't be back on till Monday. And we enjoy spending this week with you. We hope that uh, you feel the same. And we hope that you go to church on Sunday. Get revived. Get refreshed in the name of Jesus. Yeah, it was good for us to spend Monday and Friday together doing the same for our day. So that our day may have that snap, crackle, and pop with each step we take. It was a good time this week. And we hope that next week, you come back Monday. Come back Monday. If it be the Lord's will, we be here. If it be the Lord's will, if I'm not sick, if I'm not ailing, if nothing get in the way, we be here Monday at 9.30. And we hope that you make us a party a week next week. But go to church somewhere Sunday. Go praise the Lord. Give him all that praise, glory, and honor that he's been giving to us. Give us that praise. He's been He's been waking us up this morning. So give him that praise on Sunday. Go to church. Praise the Lord. Amen and amen. We'll be right back with the closing after this message. Hey, 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 we are back, we are back, we are back, but we need to get on out of here. Our time has been for a spent, and we really enjoyed spending the morning with you, praising the Lord, chatting about the Lord, talking about the Lord, trying to get strength from one another, and I enjoy spending the morning with you, and we hope you feel uh, the same. We hope that you do. We hope that uh, you feel the same. We pray with me, please, our Father, which art in heaven. Allow be thy name, thy kingdom is here, thy will is then done. Father, we thank you for allowing us to bring on this program, chatting from the word. Help us to continue on chatting about the word and from the word, Father. And Father, we ask that you be with each listener, help them to learn something from the chat we had, and help them to walk with that snap, crackle, and pop. With each step they take, so in the world, Christ in them. Now may the grace of God, sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest you and my with us until we meet again. In Jesus' blessed name do we pray. Amen and amen. Love somebody, love everybody. Bye bye and may God bless.